everybody in here. Good morning. Just sitting here on the porch having my coffee with all of you. I haven't even brushed my hair yet. Oh my goodness. And I've got my new jammies on. I'm still in my jammies. I got these jammies from Goodwill. Love them. So thank you so much for all the comments on my last video. You gave me something to do this morning while I sit here and the naperson takes effect. It precipitated yesterday and last night. And if you go over to my community section, you'll get to read about that. I, I made a post about it. It's such a blessing. But my bones ache. My joints are just barking at me. So... I just need to sit here for a couple more minutes and chat with you guys, and then I've got some stuff I got to get done today. I am going to show you the upgraded rocket stove. Um, I'm going to go around and look at all my plants and make sure that nothing has, you know, harmed them because we had a bunch of hail in the storm last night. And I got something in the mail. Well, from was it UPS? Yeah, I think it was UPS. Came UPS that I ordered from Amazon and paid for myself. Yay! And so I'm going to see if I can put that together. This is an exciting piece of a two-piece thing that is going to combine the thing that I got and something that I know that I'm getting that somebody is sending me off my Amazon wish list. So hopefully I'll get that built today. I have to just decide where I'm going to put it. It's very exciting. Very exciting. So this is going to be a big day for me. All right. So let me finish my coffee and just get to it. I was just out gathering sticks for the raised beds, and I uncovered this. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a mushroom. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to kind of cover it back up like it was, and I'm going to see what happens. Whew! I hope that is a mushroom. Oh, looky here. Check this out. This looks like it is whatever that is right over there I don't know I don't know what it is oh I think I just damaged this dang it dang it dang it dang it I think I just broke it nope I'm gonna leave it I did feel up underneath and I think it's a gilled mushroom so I'm gonna leave it alone hopefully I didn't kill it and hopefully there's many more out here. Nope, I did damage it. It, uh, I uprooted it, unfortunately. And it is a veiled mushroom. Um, I'm just going to take this back to the cabin and kind of examine it. So I'm kind of bummed. Oh, see? See what I mean? Okay, well, I'm going to study this a little bit more and see if I can figure out what it is. I'm very disappointed. That's why... If you want to study a mushroom and you're, you want to let it grow, just don't get in there and, you know, mess with it too much. Look, here's another one. It is coming up. I had just pulled this piece of wood away, and there is definitely another one coming up. So I'm not going to mess with this at all. I'm just going to let it go, and let's see what it turns into. See that? That's the thing that came the other day. Actually, it came on a Sunday. I couldn't believe it. I have to put it together, and I've heard that it's really hard to put together because it doesn't have any instructions, but hopefully I'll be able to do it, so wish me luck. And remember the shower situation? Well, I have gone ahead, and this is just the old porta potty and something. I just covered it up with a tarp. I've got my little incidentals in a little plastic thingy, and I have put the shower out here. It just is so much more comfortable, at least in the summertime, to be able to come out here, take a shower. There's the drain hole. I can just dump it, seriously. Um, but I'm going to start using um, a soap that's environmental friendly so that I can use the water to put on my plants. And I just put the bucket right here, and it works perfect. So this is where I put the shower. So I'm glad that my little outhouse build isn't going to waste. I'll still get to use it. And that makes me happy. <sighs> oh my goodness. I don't think there are any instructions unless there's some up underneath there. Alright. Let's see if I can get this thing together. And there we have it. I got it put together. It took me about, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes. Wasn't as hard as I thought. And this is like a little chicken yard. Um, and like I said, there is another piece that's going to be going to this. 
I don't know what I'm getting it. I don't know if this is where I'm going to put it because the fire pit's right there. Um, the, what I like about this area is that it is higher here than it is like over there and it's higher here than it is over there. So when it rains, this stays relatively dry. That's why I put the fire pit there. So if I keep it here, I am going to have to move the fire pit and everything in it away. Um, but I'll, I mean, I'll keep it there if this is where I'm going to keep it. I'm not really sure yet where I'm going to put it. Um, I don't want it too close to the wood pile with snakes coming out of it. I don't think there's any snakes in there. But definitely this will have to go if I'm going to leave the chicken coop here. And this isn't a real chicken coop. This is just kind of like a chicken run. So I did it. Hopefully the other part will be coming very, very soon. And I may relocate this like 60 million times before I finally decide on where I want to put it. But I think this is big enough for a couple chickens. I'm thinking there's a little roost in there. See that? That's a little roost. And there is a door on this side. Let's open this. I'm sure you understand how that works. There you go. That opens. And there's another door on this side that opens too. I didn't think there was a three doors, but I guess there is. And then there's another one right there as well. So... This little coverlet thingy, it's not very thick. It's supposed to be waterproof. But what I will probably end up doing is covering the entire top of this with one of my lovely blue tarps. Oh, and another point of contention about keeping it here is that trash heap over there. So I don't know if that's, that's going to be good to have that near. But I'm very happy that I got it put it together. It's surprisingly sturdy and it's not too heavy to where I can't lift it and move it. So yeah, I'm just gonna cover this all up. And once the other thing comes, I'll figure out how to join the two together. And maybe before too long, I'll be able to get some chickens. Yes. It's raining again, yay. I'm glad. I went ahead and moved the fire pit, got that all nice and cleaned up over there burned a little bit of it and so yeah this uh, I think this is where I may keep it I don't know we're gonna have to wait and see when the other thing comes and how it fits into it and whether or not I can keep them here I am so excited all right it's really starting to come down so I'm not gonna be able to secure this tarp but I don't think it'll blow away it might but it's not gonna go far um yeah so I'll fix that tarp hook it onto there somehow or the other so that it stays and, uh, yeah, I think that'll work. All right, I'm going inside. I upgraded the rocket stove. I took some of the cinder blocks that were underneath the bed, and I just made a bigger stove, a double burner. Basically, what I did is I just moved the two solid ones a little bit further out towards the side. I put another one of those cans in with the back cut out because you need plenty of airflow. This right here is just to block you know, block the air coming up this way. And you know what, you can set little things in it. And then this is basically it. This pot is a mess, I need to clean it. Uh, two burners. I can grill on one side and put a pot on the other side. Or I can grill on both sides. And if I only want to cook on one side, all I have to do, oh, I've got myself all dirty. Uh, all I have to do is take that and put it over one of the holes, whichever hole I'm not going to be using. So maybe, so hopefully the heat will mostly rise through here. I mean, it's still going to come up here a little bit, but that's okay. Um, but it's a two burner because there have been many times that I've been out here and I've wanted to cook something like a big hunk of meat and then a side dish along with it. So I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to try it later tonight and I'll let you know how it goes. I might even show you how it goes. This is what I ended up cooking in the cast iron skillet. It's couscous with sweet peppers and mushrooms and dandelion greens. I love them. And they were all finished, so I was able to cut the steak in half because it was really big. It's just a sirloin steak and half for me, half for Betty. It was cooked perfectly and very, very delicious. 
Here it is, plated up. Doesn't that look tasty? Mmm, it was so good. And Betty loved her share too. So my first meal on my upgraded rocket stove was a success. Yay! So I did get quite a bit done today. And the beds down by the streets, I've got the bottoms of them mostly covered in sticks and twigs and whatnot. I've just got a little bit more I need to add to the bottom of them. And then a layer of leaves and then the soil and hummus, manure, stuff, compost, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I still need to go to the store and get some of that. Walmart was out of the kind of soil that I like to use, but Lowe's has some. It's just a little bit more expensive, and I'm kind of like a penny pincher, so I'll have to kind of figure that out. Maybe I'll go pick it up tomorrow. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to kind of chill out for the rest of the day, maybe have a glass of wine, and just, just enjoy the scenery. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.